I'm really glad to be here this morning. I think God's up to something a little different maybe they did in the first service, so we may change some things up, but I, I at least want to tell you this. Um, kind of the, the part of my message that I feel like the Lord has kind of given me is this, is the, the announcement, the invitation, and the mission of the gospel of the kingdom. That Jesus has invited us to step into his announcement, announcing that he is the good news that has come. He's the one who was promised, who stepped into our darkness, who, de- who stepped into our, our sin state, stepped into our death, and brought about life to us. That he's the invitation to come, to drink from him, to come and to receive the abundance of life, to come out of our despair, out of our loneliness, to come out of our anxiety, to come out of our depression, to come out of those places that bind us. We have to understand how weak we really are. And sometimes the best thing that we can do is begin to acknowledge where we're at in the very moment. And when we begin to accept where we're at, that's the place actually where God can begin to meet us and bring about the very thing that we need. So I want you just to take a moment just to examine where you might be. Not in the place where um, you think you should be, but where you're at. Because I want to tell you that the announcement of the gospel wants to come to that area. The invitation of Jesus wants to come to that area and invite you to come to that very moment so he can meet you. And then what he wants to do is he wants to send you out on mission out of the place where he met you. So I've learned just to to come to this place and learning, not have fully learned and learning, that this is not a, a negative confession or a negative declaration, but it's a place of like, I am absolutely so weak. God, I am, I am so full of anxiousness. I'm so full of fear. Anxiety has gripped me. Now, those are not very faith-filled statements, are they? But here's the thing. Jesus, you're never anxious. Jesus, you're never tired. Jesus, you're always strong and you want to meet me in my weakness. Jesus, where I am sick, you want to come and you want to heal me. You want to come and put your hand, your wounded hand into my wounds and bring about healing. And so we got to get to the place where we can just rest for the moment and say, this is where we're at so he can meet us. That Jesus came into the very place where... So we were so, we, in fact, we weren't just dark. We were dead in our trespasses. We were dead in our sins. And Christ arrives in that moment and begins to declare this beautiful thing in the gospel of Mark. He says this, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. But his kingdom has come near. It's within our reach, within our grasp. But he has come so close to us to meet us in our darkness so that he can begin to bring us into a place that we can fully receive how good he is, his good news, and that we can fully be alive and free and not be bound by the things that have tried to pull us in all different directions when he just wants us to walk hand in hand, step in step with him. And as we begin to walk in that place of that freedom, then we begin to walk into the mission of Jesus. And we begin to declare his good news, not just with words, but in our weakness, we get to demonstrate the reality of that good news. And we get to do the extraordinary works of God in the place of our absolute weakness. And so here's what I'm going to do, because... We're going to actually spend a little more time actually doing some ministry, but I want, I want to show you a video, and I want you to see this video for a second for two reasons. One, I want you to see, uh, you're going to see, a, actually really three things. You're going to see the kingdom break in, in everyday places and everyday spaces. This is a video, it's about 13 minutes long, and it's, it's a video that's going to show you um, the presence of God breaking in first into a coffee shop. I'm sitting down with a lady in South Africa, she had come and she was so tormented. She was so sick. She was so ridden anxiety. And I said, hey, why don't you just come sit here for a moment? 
And I have her sit next to me, and I just put my hand on her shoulder. I said, Holy Spirit, come. And it was absolutely so beautiful. The presence of God shows up in the mug and bean coffee shop, and she literally slips up underneath the table. The power of God hit her. She's on the floor shaking under the table. Now, you thought this would have brought a crazy disturbance to the rest of the room, but they were like, what in the world just happened? And people started coming to our table, and we started praying for them, and just started releasing God's presence. This woman was so desperately in need of a touch, and it wasn't just going to be words. It was going to be the closest and the nearness of the kingdom coming for her, and it was so profound that it just, it literally just shook her to the core. You're going to see just going about uh, into a Krispy Kreme donut shop and walking by, and I just happen to sense that the Lord's doing something, and I just say, hey, is this going on? Can I pray for you? And the Lord shows up at the Krispy Kreme donut shop. And then I was just at a pharmacy, just going to collect some things that I needed, and you're going to see God showing up in the pharmacy, touching the people that were there working that actually needed the Lord to show up as well. In fact, one part of the video, you, you, you'll see the Lord show up in a, a really interesting way, but a part of a, kind of a backstory was I went into the store and I was in extremely, um, I, mean, I mean, gutter of pain. My stomach was hurting so bad, and I went in to go get some medicine. And I felt the Lord said, you're here for this, but I'm going to show you what you're also here for. And the Holy Spirit breaks out in the pharmacy, in my weakness, in my pain. In my sickness, the Lord shows up in power. And then you're going to see the very end, uh, these two waitresses. One of the waitresses, just moments before, you don't see this part of the video, but I, was, I saw her from a distance, and I just saw like depression over her and sadness. And I just said, hey, can you come here for a second? And I said, have you been experiencing just a tremendous amount of sadness and depression? And she goes, how did you know that? I said, well, I didn't know on my own, but I believe Jesus is speaking to me so you don't have to carry this sadness and this depression any longer. Can I just see your hand for a moment? I took her hand and just smiled at her. And it was like literally weights just fell off this woman. And the joy of God rushed into this woman. She gets born again. And I said, listen, you're gonna get to do the same thing. She goes, how am I gonna do this? I'll show you in a moment, and you'll see what happens on the video. What I want you to see is this, because, and then what we're going to do is I want you to watch this video, and then I I want to see, uh, I want to demonstrate something to you. I want you to see what it looks like in the normal everyday place, and then I want to just press in, because I believe God wants to do something. But I want to read one other passage really quick, and it's Matthew uh, 10, 7, and 8. It says, if I can find it. Here it is. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you received, now freely give. Now that's an impossible task that Jesus has called us to. He's called us to walk into a supernatural way that we have no ability in ourselves to do. I don't know about you, but I can't pull healing out of my pockets. Can you? But what we can do is step in the commissioning of Jesus. We can step into the announcement that the good news of Jesus has come. That Jesus is the invitation inviting everybody that's weary, everybody that's sick, everybody that's in deep darkness. That he wants to come and bring you into his glorious light and set you free. And then to go out in the strength of his mission to set other people free. So we're going to watch this video, and then we're going to get up, and we're going to do some ministry. So I'm expected. I want you to be looking for something. I believe that many of you right now need a healing and a touch from Jesus. As you're watching this video, I want you to be expecting that the Lord may begin to heal you, just hearing the testimony and watching what Jesus is doing. In fact, every person that we ended up praying for, I had them extend out and begin to pray for you. And so when you're watching this, you're going to see as they freely received, I believe the free gift they received is freely going to come to you. So I want you to begin to check your body in the midst of this when you're watching, because I believe the Lord's going to really come. So can you play that video? Presence of God's on you. Presence of God's on you. It's okay. Power of God's on you. He's healing you. Loving you, he's setting you free. In Jesus' name, we bless you. 
We bless you with love. We bless you with love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So tell me your name. Okay, I just asked you if you had any pain in your back. Yes. And then I just held and your hand feet. and your feet, yes. and I just smiled at you. I actually looked in your eyes. And what happened? The pain was removed. And you don't know how I did that? Uh, I don't know. Okay, here's how I did that. I'm a Christian, and Jesus just healed you, and he loves you, and he took your pain away. We're here at the airport, and you're helping me get through security, and Jesus heals you because he loves you so much. And I believe that. And you believe so that. Hey, put your hand out like this. Yes. Can you put your hand out like this? And say, Jesus, Jesus those, who watch this, those who watch this, will you heal them, you heal them just like you healed me? Just like you healed me. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we walked by and I asked you if you had a pain in your lower back. Yes. And what did you say? There was a pain. And then I just held your hand and I prayed. And what did you feel? A bit, uh, just gone. Just gone? Gone, yes. And what did you think about that? No, I felt, I felt very different. Yeah. And Jesus just touched you with his love, huh? Yes. And, touched, and then touched your friend. We've, as Yoka and I prayed for you, you just felt the love of Jesus. And that's just Jesus loving on you. Just yes. As we go about our day, just stopping by a Krispy Kreme just to show Jesus his love. And so we bless you both. Yes, thank you. Hey, and when Jesus healed you, put your hand out like this. Say, Jesus, Jesus, thank you for healing us. Thank you for healing us. If you can heal us, you can, you can heal those that are watching. You can heal those who are watching. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this is my new friend, Atley. Atley. Mm -hmm. Atley. And Atley, where were we at? Just giving the cheap walk. Okay, and so we were walking up, and, and you just happened to say that you needed to, We, we asked you to need a prayer. Mm -hmm. And you, what happened to you? You I were just, sick in your body. I was sick. I was sick. Pain here. Pain in my lungs, my chest. Then you just prayed for me, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, start feeling heat. Yeah, just became better now. And, and all the pain left? All the pain left. I feel flex. You know. And you were just like, you said you felt this heat come all over heat, your body? Heat. And you were overwhelmed by that? Overwhelmed, yes. And you said that just it just lifted off of you. And mm -hmm. then I asked you, I said, do you want to receive Jesus? I said, yes. And you received Jesus <laughs> in your heart? And I just want to tell you that this is what Christians do. We just go out, we love on people. Mm -hmm. This young man gets healed, opens his heart to Jesus. And this is just in a normal everyday space. And we're all called to put Jesus on display with love and power. Hey, put out your hand like this and say, Jesus, Jesus as you healed me, as you healed me I, release healing to them. I release healing to everyone. Who watches, Who watches this? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You see that? Watch. Jesus. Look at it. Fix your leg. Fix your back. Yeah. In Jesus' name. All the way. Do you feel that? Oh. Wow. So good. Stand up. Watch. Your back is totally fine. Move that right. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Tell me your name. My name is Angel. And where are we, Angel? Yes. And so I just walked up to you and I asked you if you had any pain. Yes. And where did you have pain at? In my back. And you just hold my hand and you just prayed for me. And then I'm like, so I was kind of scared of him now. You were like, scared. <laughs> you didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on because we've been a few minutes. I, I, I just I actually held your hand and looked at you and said, pain, go. That's all I did. And you were pretty shocked. 
And then I told you that was Jesus. And yeah. And you're still pretty. Just I'm still trying to find the pain because every time I kept an insisting like that, I felt the pain. Now I'm like trying to find it. There's nothing. Did you have? Did you feel like a warmth or something come on your body, or the pain yes. just okay? And then yeah. the pain just left. Mm -hmm. yes. What do you think about that? Oh, I uh, yeah. It is Jesus. That's Jesus. Hey, put your hand out and say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. As you healed me. As you healed me. Those who watch this. Those who watch this. May you heal them too. Yes. In the name of Jesus, they may heal them. Amen. Her name? Sheila. Sheila. I just came and just stood next to you and asked you if you had pain in your body. Yeah. And where was your pain at? This was uh, down here, up down here, all my leg. And I couldn't like, walk properly nicely. And I just put my hand on your shoulder. I looked at you, smiled. And what happened? I was so shocked. You were so shocked. Yeah, it was like something like was holding or and then all of a sudden the pain like gone or something. Like and I didn't tell you how I did that? No. How do you think I did that? I don't know how oh, it's prayer or miracle. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm a Christian and this is what Christians do. Jesus was touching you because he loves you, he sees you, and he brought healing to you. Thank you. Is that amazing? You. Are you a Christian? I am a believer. Okay, yeah, so this I is what you get to do as well. Why don't you put your hand out towards the camera? Okay. And say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. And those that watch this. And those who watch this. I release healing to them. I release healing to them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. What just happened? I, I just I just felt like I already leaved from the bottom of my feet, right? I? But I just held your hand yeah. and smiled at you. What do you think about that? I don't know. What 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 did it feel like? I'm shaking. You're shaking. Yeah. How did you do that? Okay, I'll tell you. Once, do you know anybody else in your store that has pain just like that or that you can get? And I'll show you. I'll like, show you exactly how I did that. Okay, we'll come. We'll follow you. Okay, look at me. Okay, move your back. Stop. Look at me again. Watch. Move it again. Is it gone? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 100%. Okay. So How do you think I did that? With a magic <laughs> How do you think I did that? But you believe there's no. something. So I just asked you if you had pain. That's all I asked you. And then I held your hand. And what happened? I didn't say any words. I just smiled at you. Same thing with you. Let me tell you how I did that. You guys are watching. Are you kind of like intrigued by this? Do you have any pain in your body? Do you have a headache? Okay. Do you have any pain in your body? Yeah. Come here. I'll show you both. Come here. Tell, tell her what happened to you first, real quick. I took my eye and then smiled at me. You didn't have pain anymore. Okay, is your pain high, medium, or low? Medium. Let me see your hand. <laughs> Move your body. What? Is there any pain? Uh-uh. What happened to the pain? My <laughs> Oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened to it? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing. It's completely gone. I just held your hand. How, 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 how did I do that? I don't know. Okay, now you have pain where? Your headache. Is it high, medium, or low? Let me see your hand. <laughs> no way, what? It's like way to it. It just went to where? Where did it go? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to come here. Come here. Let me tell you. Else. Do you have anything before I get to tell you? Burn. It, is it hurt? Where does it hurt at? Come here. Let me hold your hand. You, so it's a high pain? Medium. Okay. What's going on? It's gone. What's gone? It's like cold. 
It's just cold all of a sudden. Wow. How in the world could I do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how it happened real quick. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it just goes down. How do you do that? So look at me. I'm a Christian. And Jesus is touching your body right now. And he's releasing you from all that stuff that tries to come on your body. Because he loves you and he's making himself known to you. He loves you that way that he can show himself. That's how I'm doing it. It's not magic. It's Jesus. And Jesus has come close to you. And he's knocking at the door of your heart. And he's saying, do you see me? Because I see you. Do you want to open up your heart to Jesus and let Jesus come into your heart? He's in there. So you're a Christian. So this is what Christians do. This yeah. is what you get to do. Remember I told you I'm going to show you how to pray? Yes. So your friend has pain in her back of her hip, right? Is it high, medium, or low? Like strong pain, a little pain, or a lot of pain? Not a lot of pain. Okay. Oh, so it's high. So what you going to do, put your hand on her shoulder. Yeah. Right there, that's fine. Just look at her and smile really big. Okay. Move your back. <laughs> what what happened? You don't feel it. Wow. Okay. You gave your heart to Jesus. Jesus answered your prayer praying for your friend right there. All you did was touch her and smile at her. Because Jesus really does hear our prayers. Is that not amazing? She's coming to shop. Okay, so Jesus just touched you. He loves you. She opened her heart to Jesus. Would you like to open up your heart to Jesus as well? Because if Jesus can heal your body, he can heal your heart and remove away our sin and make us new on the inside. Jesus came, died, and rose again for a gift of life. When he was Would you open like to open your heart to Jesus? Say, so, so Jesus, thank you for healing me. I receive your love. I receive your forgiveness. And I invite you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. I want to hold up in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. That's awesome. Amen. We're Christians, and this is what we do. There's no special anointing or gifting on my life. I'm just an ordinary, everyday believer. And through that entire video, although I may have looked confident, a confident there was a million butterflies going on on the inside of my stomach. What I did is I just stepped into the announcement, was inviting people to come into his glorious good news and was releasing his mission. And that's what we're called to do in our weakness is to invite people to experience Jesus. So when you were watching the video, how many begin to feel something happen in your body? You begin to feel maybe a pain leave or you could do something you couldn't do before. Can you just stand up if that's you and wave at me if something happened? I wanted to see just from the video if that happened to anybody. There's one person there. There's another person there. Let's, another person there. Okay. Who else? Another person, is that you as well? You said something happened? Can you just come up here for just a moment? If, if something happened to you, Daniel's going to come take the mic, and we're just going to get a couple of testimonies from that. I just want to see what the Lord did for you. And I want you to be hearing, because it's like the testimony of Jesus is like the spirit of prophecy, and I believe the Lord wants to begin to do that with you. So if something happened in your body, watching that you stood, would you just come up here for a moment, and we're going to hear what happened to you. Hey, so what's your name and what happened to you? Um, I'm Jaravia. And, um, I think like two years ago, yeah, I got shot in both of my um, feet. 
And um, you got shot in your feet. Yeah, both. Like a gunshot? Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. And um, now I like do track now. And so like when I run, like my feet have been kind of hurting like over the past weeks I've been doing track. And like during watching the video, it went away in my feet. It went away? Yeah. Did you feel like a warmth or a tingling or yeah, what? Yeah, my foot, they started like tingling and it got a bit warm, so. And the pain's gone. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jesus. Okay, come over here for a second. Because you're going to help me in just a second. What's going on with you, my friend? Uh, suffering from bicep tendonitis in this arm right here. and uh, Your bicep, yeah. It was hard to do like this. And I was sitting there watching the video, and I don't know, every time Jesus does something to me, it puts me to sleep. And when I woke up, the pain was gone. So you felt like this peace come over you, mm -hmm. where you almost felt like you were asleep, and then the pain's gone. Yeah. Just watching the video. Well, I guess watching the video, like I take School of Kingdom Ministry, and like every time we do sure. like our activations, it does that. Like I sit there and the next thing you know, I start falling asleep and I try and keep myself up, but I can't. But you had pain before watching and the pain just left. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. Hey, come over here. I'm going to have you help me. What happened to you? So basically, my, you set my face on fire. Hot. Yeah? Very hot. What was wrong with you? Did you have any pain or were you sick or what? Well, when I walked in, my bone spurs hurt really bad. Uh huh. I have them on my heels. Yeah. I mean, I still feel it a little, but I, I can walk better. You can walk better. So you felt the phenomenon of the spirit come on you. Yes. And pain started to diminish. My face still feels like it's on fire. And it's on fire. Okay. Wow. So is that that's something new to you? No. Okay. It happens here. Oh, it happens here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Come <laughs> Not on here. every Sunday, but it, yeah. It, it's okay. Okay. Frequent. Okay. That's fine. That's awesome. What about you? Um, I felt kind of like a stiffness and kind of some pain back here when I came in. And I felt that numbness, and then it felt cold on the back of my arm. And so it just. And it still feels cold on the back. So of my you arm. had pain before. There's some like a range of motion or what? No, sure. it just felt, it just kind of feels like stiff. It just, it kind of feels, yeah, just stiff. But something happened. Yeah. And the, the stiffness is gone, I guess? Well, it just feels cold now. It feels cold. It just feels is that a good feeling, I guess? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. All right. Okay, so here's what I want to do. If you have pain in your shoulder, you have um, a pain in your, your neck, your back. Um, the other thing I felt too is just something in the, in the hip. If you have pain in any of those areas, also in the right ankle, would you, would you just stand up and would you come here for a moment? We're going to demonstrate right now what this looks like. So if you have one of those areas, a pain in your right shoulder, uh, your neck has been injured, maybe in an accident, you have pain right in the, between the middle of uh, your shoulder blades, back is injured, and then something about the hip, would you come up here on the stage? We're going to just line up, we're going to do something really quick. I want you to see what happens. Let's move this. Um, just right there. We'll start, just start with one at a time. Actually, can I start with you? Can you come? Stay here. All right. Well, there's a lot more than what I think was going to come up. Okay. So would you come in for just a second? Okay. So tell me what's, what's wrong? What's the pain that you're experiencing? I have pain in my hip and my shoulder here, and I also have a really bad headache. Okay. And how is that pain high, medium, or low? Medium. Medium. Okay. Here's what I'm going to have you do. Now, freely you received healing just by watching and seeing somebody else be healed, and they freely were releasing power. So that's what I want you to do. All you're going to do is you're going to hold her hand, and you're going to smile at her. We're just going to see what happens in this moment, because we can't make anything happen. If something happens, it happens. We're not going to make, we're not going to hype anything up. I just want to see what is possible and available in this moment, and how much of the Lord is on us so that we can release, Okay. So there's no pressure here. We're just going to experiment and see what God's doing. Okay, so I want you to hold her hand. I just want you to smile at her. I smile really big. It only works if you smile big. <laughs> okay, I want you to be honest. I want you to move your body around. I want you to see where the pain is at, if it has diminished, if it's gone. And don't be like most Christians and lie. Um, it's, not, it's not completely gone, no. Yep. Not completely. At first, my headache started to go away, and then it kind of came back. Okay. But it, it's not as bad as it it's was. Not as bad as it, okay, hold her hand again, and just smile. Smile bigger. I just say this. Say pain. Go now. Go now. 
Okay, move your body. This is all gone. What's that? This is all gone. Your shoulder, the pain's yeah. all gone. Yeah, and my headache is way better. Like, by how much? From like a five to a two. Okay, so a five to a two. Okay, what about your hip? Your hip. No. Okay, your hip's not bad. Okay, so why don't you come stand here for a second? You come here. Just because of time, here's what we're going to do. So healing has started to take place. It hasn't fully happened. A decrease in her headaches. The shoulder pain's gone, but she still has pain in her hip. Here's the deal. We're all wounded healers at some level, and that doesn't keep us from praying for the sick. Actually, we have more empathy, more compassion in that moment. So why don't you come here? What's going on with you? Um, just stiff shoulder and some pain in the neck. Okay. So are you a pain in the neck most of the time? No, I'm taking it. <laughs> okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to hold her hand. I just want you to look at her and smile. Now, this is not some technique or anything. Well, here's what I'm doing. I'm literally, I want us to get to a place of comfortability that we cannot do this. And it's okay to pray words and say words, but we also need to get to a place where, listen, it's the touch of Jesus that does this. Okay? Move your neck and move your shoulder. Stiffness is gone. The stiffness is gone. And the pain's gone. Completely gone. Yeah. Okay, check your, your hip while you were doing that. Oftentimes when we step out in that place, healing begins to actually just come upon us as we're it's stepping in the mission. It's way better. It's way better. Way better. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to hold her hand. I want you to smile back at her. And just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're the one who heals. You're the one who heals. Now hip. Now hip. Be restored. Be restored. Pain go. Pain go. Move your hip. there. Okay. She's a real Christian. I'm believe. She's a real Christian. No, 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 no. We don't make things up. She's yeah. still in pain. Something has happened. Here's the deal. If we, but my headache's completely gone. Her headache's completely gone. That's awesome. Yeah. But what we never want to do is hype anything up. Right. Because then what we're going to diminish the work of God. Okay. And we're going to think if it just, please don't do that. So I'm right. grateful. Okay. You come over here and stand here for a second. Actually, I want you to come here. Okay. You're yeah. Come here. What's going on with you? I have a migraine and my hip. You have a migraine and a hip problem. Okay. Can she just hold your hand? Yes. Why don't you just smile at her? There it is. See, the Lord's actually coming on her right there. You can see, like, there's a peace that's resting upon her, and that headache is beginning to lift off of her right now. There's been this oppression that's come upon her and the Lord, it's not you. It's just what the enemy is doing, trying to do against you. And so it's just, it's beginning to lift off. If you can watch this, this peace just descend upon her. And I believe the Lord's also going to just begin to touch her hip. There's been a lot of wrestling that's been going on in your life. But listen, the Lord's going to wrestle on your behalf that you don't have to keep wrestling anymore. And so he's going to touch your hip right now. And there's going to rest that's going to come upon you. And you're going to come into a lot more peace. Okay. So here's what I want you to move your body around. And I want you to be honest and see what's going on. There's a really cold feeling down my hip, mm -hmm. but the pain is completely gone. Come on, Jesus. Uh, what about the headache? About a one. About a one. So we went from what? An eight. An eight to a one. We'll call that really good. Amen? Amen. Okay, come over here. Okay. What's your name? Zoe. Hey, Zoe. What's up? What's going on with you? Um, my shoulders have been hurting. It's been sending like shooting pain to my elbow and wrists. Okay. And so you feel that right now? Yes. Would you get that high, medium, or low pain? Mm, probably like a low. It's not super. But you would know if it's gone, basically. Yeah. Okay. I just want you to hold her hand. Smile really big like you believe that he really is going to do it. No, he's already going to do it because he loves you. Okay. Now move your shoulders around. Feels the same. Okay, she's a real Christian. She's not lying to us. Okay. See, Jesus? Jesus. I thank you for your healing presence. I thank you for your healing presence. Now all stress. Now all stress. All tension. All tension. Go. Go. Okay, move your shoulders. Feels the same. Feels the same. Okay, why don't you come over here? You're going to help me? No, no, you turn. you're going to go over there? We're just doing this because of time. I'm speeding up the process only because of, of time. So nothing's happened to her, but God's going to move through you, okay? What's going on with you? Uh, my left hip has been hurting, like my hip flexor is really tight. Okay. So is it high, medium, or low pain? A uh, medium. Okay. Why don't you just hold her hand and look at her? <laughs> Are you okay? 
Smile real big. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, move your body around and see what's going on. I think it's a little different. A little different. We'll call that no. Because we don't hype stuff up. Here, put your hand on her, on her hand again. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for touching her hip. Thank you for touching her hip. All pain. All pain. All tension. All tension. Go. Go. Move your, move your hip around. I think, it, I think it's better. It's like hard to tell because it's mostly when I run, but I okay. feel like it's not like, it feels tight but not painful anymore. Okay. Do you want to run and see if it's better? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Okay, so here's what we do in a situation like that. A lot of times people try, oh, well, something's happening. We are not going to know until a little bit if something's happened, okay? But anything changed with your shoulders yet? No. Okay, all right. Come sit over here. Why don't you come? Okay, what's going on with you? Uh, my left shoulder hurts and it has for several months. Your left shoulder's hurt and it's hurt for several months. Yeah. Okay, now, could you just hold her hand? I just want you to look at her and just smile. And the presence of God's coming on her right now. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the presence of God's really resting on her. And he's going to free you from this right now. Move your shoulder. This is your mom. Oh, that's beautiful. I was like, you were reaching out. I was like, well, that's really great. It's your mom. You should reach out to her. Wow. What's going on? So you know that she's been in pain. A little bit, yeah. Teenager, we don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's better. It's better. Yeah. Was it high, medium, or low when we first started? Um, it's been a persistent low. Persistent low? Yeah. Is the tension gone? Yeah, look for it. Yeah, it feels not in pain. Not in pain. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. Yeah, thank you. Amen. <laughs> okay, why don't you come over here? Actually, I'm going to have you stop. I'm going to start here. I'm not leaving you girls there. Come here for a second. I'm having you stand here because nothing's changed yet for you. What's, what's, what's going on with you right now? Uh, shoulder and neck pain. Shoulder and neck pain. Is that high, medium, or low? Uh, when I move it, medium to high. Medium to high when you move it. So don't move it and you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, that's right. No. Okay. We're going to have fun doing this because this gets really stressful in one sense, right? Okay. Why don't you just put your hand in his hand. Say, Jesus. Freely as I received. Freely as I received. I freely give. I freely give. Now all pain. Now all pain. All tension. All tension. Go. Go. Move your neck and move your shoulder. And be honest with what's going on. It's better. Low. Yep. Okay. I'll try it again there again. Jesus, we bless his shoulder. Jesus, we bless his shoulder. We bless his neck. We bless his neck. We command that pinched nerve right now to leave. We command that pinched nerve right now to leave. Now watch. The presence of God's coming on him. You see that? Here it comes. And the Lord's restoring hope to you, my friend, as well. And he's restoring peace to you. And the Lord's really pleased with you, my friend. Yeah, let the power of God just come upon you and receive what he has for you. He's also going to take care of just some things that have been really just some emotional things and some brokenness in your heart. And the Lord's going to come right now and he's saying, if, I can touch, if, he, if he can touch your neck and his shoulder, he's going to come to those areas that you've been crying out for. And so we bless you in Jesus' name. Move your neck and move your, move your shoulder and see what's going on. It's almost gone. Almost gone. Almost gone. Okay. Do it one more time. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. We bless what you're doing. We bless what you're doing. Let your healing power come. Let your healing power come. I'll move it again. Still there, but okay. Why don't you come over here? I'm gonna have you come. Okay, we're still so something's beginning to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. All the way. My hips are starting to go down a little bit more. Your hips are starting to go down a little bit more. This is why I was hoping for them to stay around to see if something was happening. Sometimes it's in that proximity of staying there, the Lord begins to do something. Anything changed with you yet? Okay, not yet. Okay. 
I'm going to be kind of boring because, like, I started getting healed while I was in line. Well, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's okay for Jesus to do that. A little tiny bit right here left, but I just had a lot of tension. So did you, were you feeling, like, warmth or tingling yeah, or what? Just kind of down my neck and my shoulder. And it just started to yeah, de- decrease, but you still have a little bit of pain left. A little tiny bit. Okay. Why don't you come here? Let, you hold her hand for a second. And just say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for the peace. All the tension. All the tension. Go now. Go now. Move your neck. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Lord, we bless her neck. Lord, we bless her neck. All tension. All tension. Go. Go. It's gone now. The the popping that would happen. Come on, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Four minutes. Okay. Turn around. We're going to do a couple more that I'm going to have the rest of you. Come here. What's going on with you? Uh, My left hip Mm -hmm. and small part of my back. Knees too. Yeah. So knees, hips, back, high, medium, or low? Um, Medium. Medium. Okay. All right. Let's just hold her hand. Just smile at her. The Lord's just coming on you right now. Yeah. Now, oftentimes the Lord begins to come on us. We sometimes begin to cry, tears. So the Lord's just, I just, I'm kind of slowing this down for a moment. Because we're this is not a show. We're doing this in front as kind of a clinic time just to help you to see. But this is what we are to do as Christians. So we, people are people and we stop and we love them. This is what the Lord's doing, and he's doing some deeper things, not just in her body, but really solidifying some things in her emotions as well. Okay. Why don't you tell us what's going on with you? Uh, I don't know if I can put words to what I'm feeling, but uh, I just want my body to work well. Yeah. Then I want peace. Yeah. Yeah. So is it Jesus? Jesus. We thank you for your peace. Thank you for your peace. And Lord, we just speak to her body. Lord, we speak to her body. To come into wholeness. To come into wholeness. All that pain. All the pain. To go. To go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Mm. Now, some of you right now, as you're watching this whole thing, you are needing healing in your body. Um, would you just stand up too as well? In the, in the few moments we have left, if you need healing, would you stand? I believe the Lord's just going to really start healing you as well. Would you, would those of you that, that are sitting next to those that are standing, would you just put your hand on them? And I just want us just to, to try this as well. I want you just to take a moment, just look at them. Don't say any words yet. And I just want you to see and then ask them to do something they couldn't do. And if something has changed, then I want everyone just to clap for a moment so we know something's happened. And then uh, if not, you can use words and just speak. Remember, we're ministering the love of Jesus. The announcement of the kingdom has come. The good news of the gospel has come for them, for healing to come. If we get the the rest of you that are are here, that before they go, that we have several people... um, Here's what I want to be, do because I want to make sure you all get prayed for. Would you guys just pair up for a moment? All of you, you can come this way and just pair up. Have them come forward. Yeah, if you guys want to move over so you can pair up. Yeah. Just, yeah, create enough space so some of you have to come back here. That's fine. Yeah. And this is how we're just going to end. I know we just have a few minutes left. But we, would, we just want to release the rest of what the Lord has to, to do. And so, Father, I thank you for your healing presence. Father, I pray that we begin to have a witness in our heart that, Lord, this is your work. This is what you do. We can't make anything happen, but we're to step into your role of your mission and just begin to release the kingdom. Father, I pray right now for a healing power to come upon your people. We break the power of the evil one right now in Jesus' name, and I release healing presence to come over bodies, and we speak healing over emotions. We speak healing over trauma, and I just say right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let a healing power begin to come. 
Come, Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray that it wouldn't just happen here, but it would happen as we go, that they would begin to see a picture and a model of what we can do as believing believers as we just step into the role and begin to say, Jesus is here in your weakness. Jesus is here to come and take and touch the pain and the emotion of your heart and your body. So we just release your presence, God, right now. In Jesus' name, amen.